Hey, hi everyone, welcome back to Codeators and let's solve another SQL problem. So, this question histogram of users and purchase has been asked in Walmart interview. So, let's read out the problem. Assume you are given a table on Walmart user transactions based on their most recent transaction date, write a query that retrieves the users along with the number of products they bought. Output the most output the user's most recent transaction date, user ID, and the number of product sorted in chronological order by transaction date. Okay, so basically you have given a table name as user transactions. Okay, let's uh, read out the detail of the user transaction. You will be having product ID, user ID, spend, and the transaction date on which the transaction happened. And what you have to output? You have to output like uh, the transaction date the user and what are the number of products uh, they purchased okay now to explain you further let's suppose a user a okay bought something on uh, a bought uh, amount x uh, sorry amount x product x product y product z and this he bought on like today okay and y they bought on today and z they bought on yesterday okay cool so you have to say what are the number of products a bought in the recent timestamp which is recent is today so these are the two products they uh, a bought so a bought a on today bought two products that's all this is what you have to uh, query out okay so let's read the example first as an example 123 okay 123 bought two products okay product this and product this on 8th of july and 8th of july cool so uh, he bought two products so and there is no other entry so this will be its latest so on this particular date 123 bought two products correct uh, on this and this now one 115 115 uh, user 115 bought only one product on this date okay as there is there is no other entry or no other uh, data regarding this one so uh, this will be the latest for 115 and 115 bought only one product in the latest date now coming to 159 as you can see 159 bought two products but uh, 159 bought one product on 8th of july and another one is on 10th of July so I will take the latest one so I will be taking only this record which is the latest one and I'll say 115 159 bought only one product okay now this is the same output okay so taking 115 115 here we have so on uh, and it was the latest so on 8th of July bought one purchase so one for one one two three 123 is here and 123 bought two products on the same date that is why it is having two and uh, for 159 although he bought two products but on different dates so on the latest date 159 bought only one product that is why we have one okay hope I have understood uh, hope uh, like you have understood this problem now continuing the further analysis see for better understanding what I have did I have created a color code okay each color code represent one user okay so there is a white user bought two times a blue user bought two times green user bought three times and red user bought on uh, three times and they are all uh, shuffled so if I say you what are the colors which bought the latest one okay so let's suppose uh, first thing what I will do I will do a group by why group by because I will in my one of the window i will have all the user uh, one user all entries for belonging to one user and then i will fetch the latest one so what i'm trying to say is first i will do a group by on each user so white will be two blue will be two green will be two and red will be three right so i have all these windows so now what i will do is i will filter out the latest one okay so here this is the latest one here this is the latest one here this is the latest one and here this is the latest one how you will get the latest one with the help of timestamp okay with the help of timestamp column what we already have so let's come to now the now coming to query part 
so let's first print what all what are all the records uh, under user table user transaction table okay so i can see there are multiple records for one one two three there are two entries no four entries we have for one one five we have uh, two entries for one five nine we have uh, four entries okay i would like you to please go through this one okay write this one and read the data i have already read the data so i have already prepared a query okay it, this is not the exact query but this is how i will start to save some time i have already written that query so what i'm doing i'm selecting user id and transactional date okay and i am create i am counting what are the products uh, which is coming under this window so there will be a window i'm creating with respect to a so i am using a group by here so group by is saying that arrange all the user id together and and then arrange all the user uh, the transactional date with respect to that user id okay i am creating a window consisting of user id unique uh, unique user id and unique transactional date now what i am doing here is after doing this i am doing an aggregation which is a uh, count on top of the product id so basically i am counting what are the records okay what are the records uh, which is coming into one user id with one transactional date what are the different product ids okay so let's suppose user id bought uh, two products product a and product b on the same date so product user id 1 same uh, transactional date but bought two product id so that's why product uh, purchase count will be 2 okay this is what we have seen here so 159 bought two products on the same date 115 bought uh, one product on one date 115 bought a second product on different date 123 bought uh, uh, like two products on different dates one each 159 bought again two products uh, on different dates one each and 123 bought two products on the same date cool this is what we have understood now according to query or according to the question we have to filter the latest one okay so we'll provide uh, what is the latest uh, which record belongs to the latest one with respect to timestamp So for this i will use a row number okay uh this is a window function i'll use a window function for this so row number and i will apply on top of so over on top of my user id so i will apply the partition on user id partition partition by user id and order by transactional date okay and it should be decreasing that because we want the latest one correct now let's write this row number okay execute the query so now read the uh, output so for 115 there are two records okay and this is the latest one uh, 12th of july okay and this this is the record i want i don't want record 2 because this is uh, the older record with respect to latest one okay same for 1 2 3 you can see what is the latest 11th of july 10th of july and 8th of july so 11th of july is the latest one and uh, 1 2 3 bought one product only on uh, looking for 159 159 having three records okay and the latest one is on 12th of july and uh, 159 bought two products okay two products on the same date so i'll filter out the one so what uh what will be my next part is like i will select only those records where the row number is equals to one because row number one u one is giving me the latest record got it now i'll create a ct for this one i'll store this one with uh ranked ct as I'll select these values transactional date what I require okay so purchase count so this is purchase count transactional date so transactional date and user ID and then my purchase count so this will be my purchase count from 
my ranked CTE where row number is equals to 1 to 1 and then order by your transactional date what is the order by what what by the transactional date so let's order it by transactional date run the query submit the result and it's submitted so we solve this problem and if you like this video give a give a thumbs up subscribe it and uh, yeah share it with your friends thank you happy coding